O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all the praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all the praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all the praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear sisters and brothers, today is a seventh Sunday in the ordinary time. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 34 and verse is a passage for us today for the reflection. This is part and partial of the Sermon on the Mountain. Jesus is speaking about love. Jesus is inviting us to learn from the school of love and love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. And if anybody is beating on one cheek, show the other also. Saying it is very easy, but living is most difficult. But in front of us, a role model that is Jesus himself. There is a book named Chicken Soup for the Souls. It's a collection of few articles and inf incidents. And there is a beautiful incident is given in this book. There was a boy. His name is Quiz. And he was a very smart Catholic boy. One day, when he was at the age of 10, a stranger came to his house. His parents were in the office. Parents are calling you. You come. That was a Christmas Eve. He rushed with him. Together went with him. In a strange area. Once he reached. He stabbed him with a knife. And he shot him. And he fell unconscious. And the stranger went away from there. Later. They came to know that. This particular person had a revenge against the parents. So he became, the child became the victim for that. Miraculously, the child was uh, survived. But he lost his one eye and many, many months he was in the hospital. He was unable to, uh, to sleep those days. And the mother, every day before going for the sleep, mother used to say, Jesus loves you, dear son. We have to forgive. We shall not keep anything in the hearts. And later, this man was being arrested. He admitted his fact, all this. And he said, this little boy said, I have no problem. I have no complaint. I forgive to my enemies. Afterwards, that the, the child, as he had the problem, cannot be out of fear, cannot sleep properly. But at the age of 13, his parents took him to a Bible college, the school of Bible. He got all the training there. He was reading Bible, got chance to read Bible more and more, to know more about Jesus and his love. To know about his love. After knowing that, that he became, he wanted to live for Jesus. Live for this love. He was filled with the genuine love. And he could forgive to all the situations, literally. And there was a time that this man, the person who that uh, really attacked him years back, in 1996, then he was, he lost everything. He was sickly. He was bedridden. And he wanted to meet this man to ask, ask a story. And this kiss, this man, he rushed to that house. As he saw that his enemy is going to die, he embraced him and kissed him and said, My brother, I have no complaint against you. I have no problem. So he had a peaceful death. Dear friends, the story of this boy, later, as he forgave to the enemies, literally he lost his one eye. He had a lot of problems after this. As that he was having many years of sleepless night. But he forgave to the, condi to the situations, to all the enemies. Jesus teaches us to forgive. 
genuine love teaches to forgive and there is no boundary for the limit for loving to everyone to an extent but earlier the jewish community they were also teaching of love but they made a boundary there everything there is a bound limitations but jesus taught us unlimited love unconditional love love even your enemies see the lord through his life taught us the same love your enemies dear friends forgiveness is a virtue of a powerful person love is a virtue of a powerful person we are the powerful person because jesus is with us our power is love because jesus is with us he is teaching us the lesson and recently rahul gandhi the politician as he made a judo travel on foot from kanyakumari to kashmir 3570 kilometers on foot and one of the thing that he was telling that in the market of the hatred i will open the shop of love that was a motto of this man in the market of the hatred i will open the shop of love dear friends let us also take to our spiritual life in the market of the hatred hatred feelings are there give the same coin the same coin take revenge that is the natural that is what that we do is a spontaneous act from our side but the lord is telling to us that in those market of hatred open the shop of love jesus open for us a supermarket of love genuine love sacrificial love let us learn from that school and be a genuine and sincere disciple of the lord let us close our eyes offer ourselves and praise our jesus hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise to jesus we love you jesus 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 may the almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen